Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. On the last video we added a mute control to our menu. Today we are actually going to create a volume controller, so you can increase or decrease the volume of the background music. If you enjoyed this video remember to leave a like and if you want more Unity 5 tutorials remember to subscribe to our channel. Now, in order to create our volume controller, we are actually going to add a slider component to our UI. So, we are actually going to the hierarchy right here, select the canvas, right click with the mouse button, select UI and we are going to select slider. So, select slider and this will add a slider to our UI system. Now. Uh, we need to place the, in the slider uh, on its right position and also give it the right size. Let's begin, let's begin by call it a volume slider before anything else. So this will be our volume slider. Uh, let's change the anchor of this uh, object. So. Let me see here, let's change it to top right here, alright. Next let's change the size of the toggle so it fits our UI system. So with the game object selected let's set the width to 365, yes, and the height we can set to 30 yes it looks good um, alright so time to set the position now so we want it to be just above here the, the music so let's set X to minus 255 and let's set the Y position to minus 790 yeah perfect just where we want it. So, next let's select both um, here on the parameters, let's select both normal and highlight colors. Uh, we want to change this to match the our UI. So, let's on both colors set the, the following parameters on the color. So, we want red to be 41. We want green to be 162 and blue 212 and the alpha we set it to 20 all right perfect next we are actually going to do the same with the highlight all right so uh, 41 2012 no, 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 2012 and 20. Alright. Perfect. So, next we are actually going to change the, the color of the preset. The, the, we are going actually going to change the preset color. And we are going to set to the blue to 92. The green to 255, blue to 255, and uh, alpha to 20. Alright, perfect. So we have a clear blue once we press the, the button. The button, no, no, the, the slider. Um, so we still need to change, if you guys can see here, you just need to change the, the, the small um, toggle here, the, the little circle. So you actually need to change the background of the the slider as well because as you guys can see it's still this gray color so I'm actually going to expand our volume slider and now on the background game object so this this child game object here I'm going to change the color as well and I'm going to set the color to 41 162 I'm going to change this to 2012 and the alpha to 20 as well alright so 
we now have the, the look we want. Okay. And if we press play and test it out. We can... No, still... Okay, now it is. You can see that this area here is still... Um, Gray because we still need to change that, but otherwise it seems to be working just fine. So let's change the that color here, which is the fill area. Here we have the fill area and you have fill, and now we actually change the color as well. And here we want to set red to 92. We want to set green to 255, blue to 255, and the alpha to 20. Alright, so if we test this again, it should be blue now. Yes, perfect. Just perfect. Alright. So let's see. Now that this is working and the, the, the component is working just fine, we actually need to, to create some functionality to it, right? So we have our interface set up. Now let's create some um, functionality to it. So if we take a closer look to the component right here, as you guys can see, we will notice that we have this parameter here called value and if we change that this parameter goes from 0 to 1 uh, we can change the minimum and the maximum right here but at the direction but as you guys can see this goes from 0 to 1 and what we want is 0 to be 0 volume and 1 to be maximum volume and if we actually take a look here at uh, our canvas where we have the audio source you can also see that we have the volume here which is zero uh, with no volume and one with maximum volume so basically what you need to do is to say that the the value that we have we can close this up uh, the volume you have here on this value field will match the value we'll have on the volume field here, right? So in order to do that, we're actually going to create a function in our script, right? So let's open our UI manager script that we have been working on. Okay, opening Visual Studio just before anything else let me just go here and turn the audio on because you guys want to we want to hear the, the differences so i have the system audio off so you guys can actually hear the the change in the music once we have this done so visual studio is opening and it's taking a while as usual i usually hope open it before recording to avoid this but I forget I forgot that today so basically what you're going to do in this script is actually connect the two parameters from the different components right so in that you know the idea here is to every time you change the the slider you also um, update the volume of the music in the background come on come on open now still opening and this is actually taking quite a while why are you not opening okay now it open so this is our script right here right so First things first, so we are going to use the UI system in the code reference to the UI system component. So we actually need to import the UI system to our script. So we actually add using um, Unity engine. 
Where it is? No, 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 no. Unity engine. Dot. Uh, we want to add the UI. And here it is. This is allow. This will allow us to use the the UI components on our script. And next, um, you actually want to add a public variable here. Uh, this variable will work as a reference to our volume controller, right? So we want public. It will be a slider. So the slider component. So and we is our volume slider. Okay, so this is a reference to the volume slider in the UI and this is not an A here. Uh, so this will be the reference to our um, to our to our slider in UI, right? And next, what you actually need to do is to create a method that will get the value from the volume slider and will apply it to our audio uh, source component, right? So you already have the audio source here that we get through the start method. So we actually just need to create a new function here. So let's call it public void because we are not going to return anything. Change volume. And we open it. Um, let's just give a comment here. Change volume of the music. And now what we're actually going to do is quite simple. So we actually call the audio component right here. And we are going to say that the volume parameter of the audio controller equals uh, the volume slider and the parameter is the value parameter, right? So what we are actually saying is the volume from the audio controller will be the same as the value of the volume slider. And basically that's it for the script, as you guys can see, quite simple. So let's save it. And now going back to Unity, we are actually going to ch do some changes here. First of all, we are actually going to the canvas and uh, where we have our UI manager script here, you actually see that we now have a field for the volume slider. So we have to give it the reference to the, to the volume slider. So I'm going to select the volume slider right here and drag it over this field. So we have the reference here. So now we get the reference. And next, on the volume slider, here on the on the bottom of the component, we have the on ch on value changes list. Uh, the list is empty, so again, I'm going to click on the plus sign. I'm going to search for the game object where our function is, which is the canvas. And here on function, I'm going to select the UI manager, and I'm going to call the change volume, right? So now every time I, ch I actually change the value of the slider it will be call it will call this function here that will adjust the volume of the of the music now before we test this we actually need to ch change something so as you guys can see um, our volume starts at uh, one uh, where it is here it starts at one so we actually want our volume slider to start at one as well. Uh, it's always a good idea to you should match these two values before start. All right, otherwise you may have um, funny uh, behaviors here. So we want to make sure that these both of them are one. And now, if we actually press play, as you guys can hear the. I believe you guys can hear, let me just, as you guys can now hear, uh, for certain, the music, um, if I go here and I change it, you guys can see that actually changes the volume 
of the music in our menu. So, and if I turn music on, off, it will turn, it will continue to work with no problems. So, basically this is it. This is how to use a slider component of the Unity UI. So, on the next lesson, we'll continue to work on our menu we, or with some more UI components. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Until the next video, and have a nice day.